shift gears and talk more about, uh, you know, as a leader or as a company, um, if I were to like, if I have a whole team, uh, how would, how would you help the team be more productive, um, specifically like around like, you know, give, offering them the flexibility, but like also having that accountability part of it and like, how can you do that? Well, I mean, it obviously depends on what team you have and what you're looking to accomplish, but, um, I think there's there's a few key things. So one is you should be very clear on what our goals for the week or for the so month. Even if people are working slightly different hours, they're still hitting the key deliverables. So what I've seen with people having a lot of flexibility and working from home, there is less accountability and people can end up working a lot less than eight hours a day. So um, you want to make sure people are are hitting goals do you have focus? And if you at least have those clear benchmarks, that's going to be a really key thing for success. Some remote teams, like particularly if you're in IT, might do daily stand-up meetings. That might make sense for you. On. And um, then at the end of the day, there's the touch base there. Some of my coaching clients have gone so far as to have a daily list that they send to their they have boss. Those kind of those kind of updates. Um, so those are a few things that you can do. And I think, I think the really important thing is that you're laser sharp clear as a leader on what are the highest value activities that you want to be delivered and then you're measuring mm -hmm. against those metrics so like if you run a sales team how many sales calls are they making how many are they closing like what does that look like that that's going to be the relevant metrics even if the number of the hours they work is slightly different it's not as important um if you're working in development like are they hitting the goals during the sprint? Like, do they have the deliverables that need to get done? That's what's going to be most so important. So basically, I would really focus on results, but at the same time, be aware and cognizant of, like, how many hours people are putting in. Because I just find with working remotely that those aren't always very uh, clear.